Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel, Emerald Element. We are going to be doing your love reading here for the 1st to the 15th of November for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, so let's give it a quick shuffle. See what's going on. Okay, first card out, we have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The Fool card in the reverse. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Oof. Okay. We have the Magician. <clears throat> Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries as well. Aquarius, Aries. Doesn't have to be. Oh, wow. That was finesse, <laughs> how they fell. <laughs> and we have the Six of Cups in the reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Some of you guys could be married with this person. If not, something about wanting to close off the, the past here. Whoever this King of Swords is, there is some deception with them that has been exposed or that will be exposed the 1st to the 15th of November here. Someone coming out with the truth here. Okay, so let me take a look at these and we'll go ahead and clarify all of them. Yeah, somebody does not want the past back in. They don't see it going anywhere. Okay, so the King of Swords. Let's go ahead and clarify him. What does he have to say? So to clarify the King of Swords, we have the World card in the reverse with the Nine of Cups in the reverse, okay? So this King of Swords here, someone here is not satisfied. Someone here did not get their wish fulfillment, okay? Therefore, leaving them emotionally unsatisfied. Um, someone could have left without speaking up. But with the King of Swords upright, I felt like someone spoke up about something, maybe about some sort of truth or about, you know, why they were absent for a while, why they did the things that they did here. But with the World card in the reverse, there is like a lack of closure. Something with the World card, there's still endings here. Okay, there's still endings and new beginnings. But the new beginnings, I feel like, is without this person here, okay? There's disappointment. We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Okay. 
Okay, Seven of Swords, we have the Three of Pentacles. I know this sounds very, you know, I have to say it. For some of you, it's a third party. That's what the confession could be here. Okay. And we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Someone could have been saying as well that they wanted to work things out, but there was no action put in on their part, just mainly all talk is what I'm getting here too. And that could be um, what, you, what you find out with the Seven of Swords in the reverse. This person is not um, to be taken seriously. <clears throat> Yeah, that's what I'm getting with that. Somebody's dropping a bird and it's too much with it's too much for them to try to work on things here with you, Virgo. Okay. We have the full card in the reverse. So to clarify the full card, we have temperance in the reverse with the moon card in the reverse, okay? So maybe something, somebody said something here that really threw you off here with temperance in the reverse. The moon card in the reverse also signifies um, things in the dark coming to light, okay? Secrets, people being exposed. We also have the seven of swords in the reverse here. So there are some like lies or truths that are going to come out first through the 15th um, for you guys, Virgo. But with that info that you guys collect from this person, you are just going to be done. Full card in the reverse. You're not going to take a leap of faith with this person anymore. Okay. Underneath the full card, we have the magician though. Gemini, Aries. There may be a bit of confusion as well. I do see your emotions being thrown off here. But you don't trust it. You don't trust this person. So the magician. There could be some manipulation going on as well. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. With the King of Swords, this could be you as well, Virgo, here. Um, just cutting somebody out, not getting your emotions involved, being detached, being cold, and just making those very, like, sharp decisions here, okay? With the King of Pentacles in the reverse, um, to me, this signifies um, not wanting to invest, not wanting to create some type of growth here okay and in this case it's with a certain person we have the three of swords man this card keeps on i keep on seeing it at the bottom of the deck you guys are healing you guys want to heal from this relationship you see that there is no growth there is no coming together this person's all talk <clears throat> okay and you just want to you want something new Okay, so you guys are probably manifesting um, somebody new into your life. 
or you guys are just, um, you know, just wanting to focus on work at this time, wanting to focus on what you want to create, okay, to get your mind off this. We have the Seven of Wands. Some of you guys um, are dealing with somebody new as well. Maybe an Aries person, a Gemini. This could be somebody new first through the 15th of November. Or maybe you are already involved with them right now. This is somebody new um, besides the other person here that you are done with, okay? So Seven of Wands. I feel like this is you, Virgo. And we have it right under the Six of Cups. So it's like you do not want the past. You do not want this person back. Eight of Swords. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so with the Nine of Wands, it's like you guys are dropping this. You guys are definitely dropping this. You know, Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. So you guys could have been through it with this person, given them chances, things like that. And, you know, you guys are over it. You guys are done. With the Eight of Swords, I do see you guys still being in your heads a little bit about it, thinking about um, how they did you wrong or what could have been what could have been okay release that here with the eight of swords energy okay but overall you guys are over it we have the six of cups in the reverse five of cups in the reverse And the chariot in the reverse. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. But it's like, to clarify the Six of Cups in the reverse, you guys are getting over the past hurts, the sadness, the loss. And you guys are now noticing that you guys do have other options available to you. You are noticing the other cups, the other opportunities that are available around you. With the chariot, in the reverse, it's like you are not, um, <clears throat> um, you're not moving forward with this person, okay? Your intuition is, it doesn't feel right with this person. And the chariot only moves when, when we are balanced, when our intuition is guiding us, okay? So your intuition is telling you, uh, no, <laughs> should I say. We also have the Ten of Pentacles as the extra card here in the reverse. You don't see this person as commitment material. You don't see um, you building a long-lasting relationship with them or creating a family with them as well, okay? Let's go ahead and pull a card of advice here for you guys wisdom of the oracle so you know your guys' mind is made up and you know the fact is that this it does suck it is pretty crappy but it's like you guys know what to do and that's to move on time is everything right now Let's see what wants to come out. Bye, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> My uncle's friend was here, and he's actually a Virgo. I love him so much. Okay, we have a Magin that wants to fall out. Very Piscean. Okay. 
I have a feeling your guys' intuition is just on point right now. Like, your intuition is just, like, buzzing. <clears throat> okay. In matters of the heart, it's easy to daydream about another as a means of connecting to that person. While that's romantic, if you want this relationship to be real, you need to go for it, not just dream about it. Now is the time to move beyond the daydream and into reality, beyond illusion and into fruition. Relationships are about relating, so step onto the dance floor where imagination partners with manifestation. The message of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life. You'll be changed for the better. Imagine that. Okay. This was an interesting card, but I think it tied in well. Um, you know, it also talks about manifesting here. And we also have the Magician card as well. Um, so really, um, set your intentions. What do you want in a person? Okay, what don't you want? And then from there, manifest with that type of energy here. Also put in the work to get the manifestation going. But I know you guys um, are hard workers and will put in the work. All right, guys. So that's all I have for you, Virgo. Thank you so much for your continued support. I am offering $1, one question readings now. I have a website up. All that info you can find in the description box below. Peace out, Virgo. I'll see you guys later. Bye.